Hi, and welcome to Who's That Dog? In today's video we look at the top 10 dog breed with the strongest bites. And no, the bulldog is not on this list. But before we continue, please support us by subscribing to our channel and liking our video. The dog bite force is often taken into consideration when choosing a pet. Some breeds are known to have particularly powerful bites, while others are considered less aggressive. But which dog breed has the most dangerous bite? In this video, we will be comparing the different dog breeds and their respective bite force. We will also look at how bite force can vary between different breeds of the same species, as well as discuss the impact of proper dog training on a dog's bite strength. By understanding these differences, you'll be able to make an informed decision when it comes to selecting the right type of canine companion for your home. At number 10, the Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies are one of the most popular dog breed, and for good reason. They're beautiful, friendly, and relatively low maintenance. But as with any breed of dog, they can be dangerous if not properly trained and socialized. Siberian Huskies have a bite force of 320 PSI, which is significantly higher than the average for all dog. This means that they have the potential to do serious damage if they bite someone. While Siberian Huskies are generally gentle and good-natured, they can be aggressive if they feel threatened or frustrated. If you're considering adopting a husky, it's important to make sure that you're prepared to train and socialize them properly. Number 9. The Rottweiler. Rottweilers are considered one of the most dangerous breeds of dogs, with a bite force of 328 psi. They are large and powerful dogs, with strong jaw and sharp teeth. They are often used as guard dogs and have been known to attack and kill people. If you are considering getting a Rottweiler, be sure to do your research and understand the risks involved. Number 8. The Akita Inu. The Akita Inu is a large and powerful dog, with a bite force of 350 to 400 psi. This breed is not for the faint of heart and is known for being aggressive and territorial. If you're looking for a guard dog or a protector, the Akita Inu may be the right breed for you. However, if you're not experienced with handling large and potentially dangerous dogs, it's best to steer clear of this breed. At number 7 we have Wolf Dogs. There are a handful of dog breeds that have been bred specifically for their fighting ability, and as a result, these dogs have incredibly powerful bites. The Wolf Dog is one of these breeds. A mix between a domestic dog and a wolf, the Wolf Dog has the strength and size of a wolf with the loyalty and trainability of a dog. This makes them incredibly dangerous animals if they are not properly trained and socialized. While the average domestic dog has a bite force of around 300 psi, the wolf dog can have a bite force upwards of 406 psi. That is over double the amount of pressure. And while most dogs will only use their mouths for playing or eating, the wolf dog's natural instinct is to use its mouth as a weapon. This breed is not for everyone, but if you are looking for a loyal and protective companion, the wolf dog may be the right breed for you. Just be sure to do your research before bringing one into your home. Number 6. The Tibetan Mastiff. The Tibetan Mastiff is a large, powerful dog with a bite force of 550 psi. This breed is known for its aggressive nature and is often used as a guard dog or protection dog. The Tibetan Mastiff is not a breed for everyone, and should only be owned by experienced dog owners who are willing to put in the time and effort to train and socialize their dog properly. Number 5. The English Mastiff. The English Mastiff is one of the largest dog breeds and has a reputation for being gentle and good-natured. However, its size and strength make it capable of inflicting serious damage if it were to bite someone. The English Mastiff has a biting force of 552 psi, which is significantly higher than the average dog's biting force of 320 psi. This means that an English Mastiff's bite can cause more damage than most other dog breeds. If you are ever bitten by an English Mastiff, it is important to seek medical attention immediately as their bites can easily lead to infection or even death. Number 4. The Dogue de Bordeaux. The Dogue de Bordeaux is a large French Mastiff that can weigh up to 200 pounds. They are muscular and have a short, dense coat that is red, fawn, or brindle. The Dogue de Bordeaux has a long head with wrinkles and drooping lips, and they are known for their powerful jaws. Their bite force is 556 psi. Number 3. The Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is a large, aggressive dog breed with a powerful bite. Originating in Japan, the Tosa Inu is a cross between a bulldog, a Great Dane, and a Mastiff. 
This dog also carries a bite force of 556 PSI. The Tosa Inu is not for the faint of heart. They require experienced owners who can provide firm, consistent training. These dogs were originally bred for dogfighting, and their bite force is one of the strongest of any dog breed. While Tosas can make loyal and loving family pets, they are not a good choice for first-time dog owners. And in our top two, we have the Cane Corso. Originally from Italy, the Cane Corso is considered part of the Mastiff family. The Cane Corso dog is a large dog breed that is known for its powerful bite. This breed has an average bite force of 700 PSI, which is one the second highest bite force of any dog breed. His bite force is superior to a lion's bite force which is 691 PSI. The Cane Corso is a loyal and protective breed that makes a great family pet. However, their strong bite can be dangerous if not properly trained and socialized. And finally at number 1. The Kangal. The Kangal weighs between 100 and 130 pounds. It is a Turkish breed of livestock guardian dog. The Kangal is the national breed of Turkey and is considered to be among the strongest dog breeds in the world. A Kangal can have a bite force of up to 743 PSI. The majority of the Kangal's weight is in its large head and neck, which give it incredible power. The Kangal's bite is so strong that it has been known to kill wolves. Kangals are not aggressive by nature, but they are extremely protective of their flock or family. If a stranger poses a threat, a Kangal will not hesitate to defend its territory. While the Kangal's bite force is impressive, it is important to remember that this breed is not typically aggressive and poses no more risk than any other large dog breed. So there you have it. Your top 10 dog bite force chart. We know that many people are anxious about what to do after they or someone they know has been bitten by a dog. So we hope that this video has provided you with the information you need to make the best decision for you and your loved ones. Please remember to subscribe and like our video, and don't forget to come back for more content.